Hello there, I'm Natasha Ku, the founder of Feminine Space, and welcome to day 19 of this beautiful journey as we redefine womanhood. And today we're going to be talking all about how can we let go of outrageous or really frustrating expectations and how do we then feel more at ease with life? How can we feel more free and actually at peace as opposed to always fighting with what's happening around us? So let's get to it. This is a really special topic because it is almost something that's so unconscious to us. It's underneath everything that's happening within our lives, yet we might stay completely unaware to this. So that's why this video and this topic is extremely important and I just want to get straight to it, which is to explain to you a little bit of how these expectations, underlying expectations, which we might not even be aware of, how they function in our everyday lives and how that adds on to that frustration of feeling like we're out of sync with life. Life is frustrating and um, it's hard, right? So, and, and also in the next video, I'm going to be covering um, how can we use this knowledge and carry on so that we can find more clarity as to what we want and not be so distracted, not be so bogged down by these expectations. So how expectations actually work in our everyday life is, you know, we're, we're going about our day, but we have a very strong idea, usually, as to how things should go. So if we miss our bus and we see it coming and it's leaving, then we say, oh my goodness, how could that happen to me? Or say we're walking down the street, we thought we'd see an old friend of ours, we say hello, and they seem to ignore us, which would look at us funny, then we're like, oh my goodness, how, how come they didn't say hi, what's wrong, Do I, like, what's wrong with me, what's wrong with them, what's wrong with our relationship? And say if you go to a restaurant, you order something and the wrong order comes or something doesn't taste right or it's raining, any of these things, we start to question like, oh my goodness, things aren't going my way. And that's a very, very kind of special expectation that we have all the time. We might be aware of it, we could be completely oblivious to it, but fact is, most of most of us are living in a way where we have these expectations and we're going from situation to situation, moment for moment, expecting that how we wish things to be, it's life is going to give that to us. We expect to, that to actually happen. So we pretty much expect the whole universe to realign for everyone else, for the whole world, to realign in a way that everything that happens is in our favor and God forbid that you know we're in our kitchen and we're in a fridge or in, we're in a cupboard and a, a piece of grocery falls out or a plate crashes to the floor and we're off swearing, we're off feeling frustrated, we're off feeling like that should not have happened, I shouldn't have spilled the milk, that shouldn't have happened. Well, we're having this expectation that life has to be perfect, life has to be a certain way all the time and this could add to a lot of frustration throughout our day. Especially when you feel like it, it, it's something personal that's going on. It's something happening to you, something's wrong with you, um, it's just not going your way. When in fact, that's just life happening at its own pace. Statistically, I mean, rationally, all these things are meant to happen, you know? Things fall out of our cupboard, Sometimes we see someone on the street, it could not even be our friend. We don't know what the heck other people are even thinking, but we assume that it has something to do with us. And if something, God forbid, bad happens, then something is wrong with us. Something is terrible happening to us. And if we have multiple of such things happening where life is not meeting our expectations, then we feel really bad. We let that affect our emotions, affect how we feel, and affect how we feel especially about ourselves. You know, that we're unstable, something's not quite right, you know, didn't get the job, that fell, and I missed the bus, and so on. So if you look at it from 
a really logical point of view, things happen. And most likely, because we have our own interests, and then there's the world out there, because of our selective interests, most likely, things will not actually go our way. Things will just go the way that the universe has, you know, its kind of um, path on. And a lot of these things, they're completely out of our control. But they can really bother us if we believe that it has to do with us, that we must take it personally. And that's how we feel hurt. From someone's, you know, a friend who we thought was on the street, from them not saying hello or someone canceling their plan, we can feel hurt and we can begin to take on and begin to interpret everything that's happening in life personally. So that is the price of having expectations for the whole universe to go our way and for things to um, happen, <laughs> for, for life to actually happen according to our own preferences, our own timing, our own convenience, you know. So it's actually quite outrageous if we actually look at what's happening and our level of frustration that we feel if that's our expectation, right? Because those expectations are really unreasonable to begin with. And one of the things that we can begin to kind of look into is uncover why was I emotionally triggered by such a normal event anyways? Why, why am I even angry at the fact that a friend canceled or that I missed a bus or that something fell out of the cupboard or that someone's, I just spilled the coffee or you know, whatever it may be. What's the underlying emotion that's there, right? So what is it that we are projecting onto these really normal life events to say that this is something that is bothering me and this is something that's adding on to my dis-ease in life and my, you know, it's difficult for me to actually enjoy myself and to accept what is happening. So that's a really, really special point for us all to, you know, begin to take a look at because it's very simple, it's, it's a daily thing, nothing crazy spiritual, hoo -ha. well, it's something that we experience all the time, but we, as I say, might be very unaware of that actually happening. So imagine that this is happening, right? So maybe you're resonating with this video and you're like, oh my goodness, I just had that kind of bad day the other day. So imagine that this is happening to you. So how do you think that would actually impact your clarity and your ability to actually find your own inner answers when you're at those crossroads in life, when you're trying to determine the new direction that you wish to head, you know, start starting, you know, a new, having a fresh start and actually taking on opportunities and going for things that feel right for you. How do you think, you know, these little expectations throughout your day impacts your ability to actually live for yourself? and to your heart desires. Because emotionally, if we're triggered and we're taking things personally and we have all these expectations throughout the day, we're so unstable, you know, psychologically and emotionally, we're so unstable to the normal events that are unfolding around us and happening to us all the time. And if we are on this roller coaster emotionally because we have these expectations all the time, then how much space emotionally do we have to actually look at the matters that are really important to us? How much space, how much you know, openness in our heart do we actually have to approach those things that are the most important? And how can we then actually tap into that clarity, hear our inner voice, when the whole time we're just struggling with life and playing this tug of war because things don't often um, go our way, right? So if that's the ongoing struggle that we have all the time, then it's great that you're here watching this video and it's wonderful that we're beginning to become more aware of how we work and where all those emotions and that turbulence throughout the day actually comes from. Because the moment we open ourselves up to that, reality and to realizing, okay, that's what's happening, right? There's nothing wrong with me, it's just a process that's happening mentally, 
it's going on through my head, you know, that's what's happening. And once we understand that, we're much more able to see when it happens again, you know, something that apparently we, we think is outrageous because it's not going our way. Once that happens again today or tomorrow, you're able to realize, oh, no biggie, who cares? You know, life happens, you know, nothing for me to take personally. There's really nothing to it. Or if you feel emotionally triggered again and you notice something happening, then you can feel, okay, logically, there's nothing to the situation, you know, it's quite rational, it's statistically, you know, logical that it's happening, but why am I taking this so personally? What's the underlying emotion? And then you can sit with yourself, breathe through it, and actually get down to the bottom of it so that you don't have to go through this emotional ride again if that happens to you. So all of these techniques, this whole video is to help you gain a bit of perspective as to this human experience that we're having. We don't need to be angry at ourselves for feeling these things or going through all of this, but we can become more aware so that you have more control. And ultimately, you're able to differentiate between just a very human experience and opening up yourself so that you can actually feel your answers when you're feeling like, you know, perhaps you're losing yourself to those around you or you're lost in a way. Well, you can find those inner answers, but it's much easier when you actually tap into that which is within you and when it's nice and peaceful inside of you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos coming up. And yeah, make sure to comment below and share. Have you experienced this? Is it something new to you? Do you know what I'm you know, sharing here, those bad days, those preferences? And just let me know below because we're all going through this together. So I hope to see you again at the next video to Redefine Womanhood. And best of luck, you've got this. Bye.